Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and during this session we are going to talk about one of the important problem statement with union function which is something like this. Let's say for an example whenever we are performing union operation with two tables sometimes what happen here is data goes to the wrong column. So how can we resolve that issue? We are going to explain this thing in detail during this session. So now let's get started. Here I am on my machine and you can see that I have two data source. One is the sales data for 2020 and it has four columns like this. And second data source is 2021 sales data which has similar four columns like this. Right? Now I want to perform the union operation in between these two tables. So basically I just used a formula union table is equal to union and I just provided the name of two different tables that is 2020 and 2021. So what it does is it has combined these two tables like this. Now here you can see that the data is added incorrectly over here. You can see that uh, in product column I have some different value. Same way for sales column some year column has been added here and in year column the product value has been added right now how we can fix that thing over here I am going to explain that thing in detail here right before I explain you how to fix that let me explain you how the union function will work so this is the data structure of my two table here you can see that the column sequence is different here you can see that the column name is exact same as well as the number of columns are also same but their sequence is different that's why what happen here is whenever the union operation is going to perform over there basically it will append serial number with serial number product with this sales column sales with this year column and year with this product column and that's the reason why we are seeing incorrect data over there right because the union operation is something which is performed based on the column sequence available here right now in order to solve what we need to do here is we need to union two tables based on their column names right so how can we do that now I am going to explain you that thing in detail in order to map column names with union function we need to create one more dex function now let me explain you that thing over here first of all go to the modeling section and click on new table now here let's provide the name of your formula so I am just providing union with columns right now we need to use union function right in union we need to use we need to pass two tables right now we will use a formula selected columns right selected columns from this table right now we just need to provide the column name so let's say first column is serial number which is equivalent to serial number column of 2020 table right then second thing is product make sure that you enter the proper name here right so I just wanted to map product column so I just wanted to map product column right third one is sales information so I just type sales and then I will just use sales column over here right now fourth column which is year so let's type year and we will pass year column over here right so that is about the first table right so I, I uh, we just need to close this curly braces right then we need to provide the second table information right so same way we will use the same formula right so let me just copy this entire thing and instead of taking the data from 2020 table we just need to use a table from 2021 right.
so we just need to select that one right now we just need to change the column mapping over here so that is 2021 serial number that is 2021's product name and then uh, 2021's sales data and 2021's year data right now let's hit and enter so this will add a column union with columns right so now what it will do is it will perform the union operation based on the column right now what I need to do here is let me just add one table here and now let me just drag my values over here so first of all let's drag the serial number so let's just don't summarize it right same way after that we need to add the product value right then we need to add the sales information right and let's keep that as don't summarize and same way at last let's add the year thing over here so I'm just adding year column over here and let's just don't summarize it right so this will looking like this now let me just format that so I'm just using format painter I'm adding here so this is something which is looking like this and here you can see that the inconsistent column mapping has been resolved here you can see that product has been added success properly here same way sales data goes to the sales column appropriately and here data is going to year columns right so this is how you can solve the incorrect data problem with union function in power bi right isn't that amazing if you have any question related to this topic, you can add your questions in the comment section. One more important thing, I am going to provide this file to my GitHub account. You can download that and practice it from there. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay tuned with me, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and podcast. If you wish to listen the different podcasts from my channel, just click on this link from here this will be redirecting you to my podcast homepage where you can listen your favorite podcast on different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast or spotify right now if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number also, I am uploading new videos on Power BI, Power Apps, Power Virtual Agents, Power Automate, Teams and SharePoint every day. So do subscribe my channel to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.